So now we are going to do the trimming. So we are using pot chop. So what we will do is to say pot chop dash i, which will be the input file. And because we renamed it, we will say nanopod data dot fast kill. And then we specify the name, the output name. So we use dash o. So let's say nanopod data dot trend dot fa. We are going to trim and then save it as a faster file or a fast a file. Let me put it that way. So fast a file and then we just indicate with formats as fast a. Okay, so the format here will allow Pochop to uh, use the appropriate algorithms to convert or, or, or transform the data. Let me con convert, that would be the appropriate way to convert the data after it has trained this to faster file. So that's how it is. Now let's add threads. So let's say 10. So threads, multi thread. And so this allows the work to be split into uh, smaller chunks and then assigned to different CPUs on your, your computer to do the work. So it makes it faster uh, in some way. So I'm using 10, but I can go more. I have more uh, computational power, but let's use 10 for the meantime and then just trim it. So we do the trimming now. So the trimming has been done. So let's clear the screen first. And just let's do an LS and you see the data here. So notice I specify as the outputs nanopore data dot trend dot fa. I usually try to also include some details into files that I generate using uh, these tools just to help you to keep track of um, what is happening. So you can just use that or adapt a naming convention as well. So there's your trend. So I know that it's a trend file. 